Hello, everybody. I'm Cliff Zhang, working at Yulong Group in charge of phone business. Today, I'm going to tell you something about how to configure your XPS production line. XPS stands for extruded polystyrene. The first thing you got to know is the output. How much capacity are you looking for? For example, 500 kilograms per hour or 1.5 ton. There's a big difference when capacity varies. Also, the output has some connections with your product category. Say, if the majority of your product is in 20 mm thick or less, I would not recommend you the line more than 300 kg per hour. Vice versa, if you are going to produce the board thicker than 100 mm, I would recommend the line more than 1,000 kg per hour. OK, let's get back to the machine. Today's XPS production line has tandem extrusion system. Primary extruder plus secondary extruder in two stages. One stage twin screw extrusion system was out of date about 10 years ago. Generally speaking, the XPS production line is consisted of feeding system, extrusion system, die, and downstream. Now I'm going to explain you how, what you need to know one by one. First of all, the feeding system. Mainly there are three kinds of feeding system. Loss in weight, gravimetric, and auger feeding. They also have big difference in price. This is a 7 component loss in weight feeding system with vacuum loading system. In loss in weight feeding system, each material will be dosed and conveyed continuously. And this is 7 component gravimetric feeding system. In gravimetric feeding system, each material will be dosed in batch, then mix it before feeding. Both loss in weight and gravimetric can work with twin screw extruder. However, single screw extruder can work with gravimetric only. The gravimetric feeding system has the propensity of layering when your raw materials have powder such as talc or pigment. Such layering will slightly affect the mixing. So if you use gravimetric feeding system, you better use all materials in pellets. Auger feeding is relatively much cheaper than the other two. But the accuracy, mixing, and work environment is comparatively poor as well. Regarding the primary extruder, personally, I strongly recommend you twin screw extruder as the primary one. It carries a number of advantages. It's better at mixing, screw profile, and lower maintenance cost and less additive consumption. As you know, the blowing agent for XPS has evolved from CFC to HCFC, then HFC. Now it's CO2. There might be something new in the soon future. Every generation of blowing agent requires the different uh, screw profile. But how can you keep up with the ongoing development? Twin screw is the answer. Our parallel twin screw extruder is modular design. You can change the screw profile according to the different process requirements, even for other applications. Now let's look at uh, the secondary extruder. The main purpose of the secondary extruder is cooling. So the cooling capacity and the accuracy of temperature control are very critical. That will be the main factors to affect the physical property of the board. We are using tailor-made oil temperature controller to control the temperature of the secondary extruder. All temperature control is digital setting, so it's foolproof. One more secret I have to tell you that. The screw inside cooling is very important too. 
now we come to the static mixer and die. Static mixer is designed to reconcile the radial temperature difference from the barrel wall to the root of screw flight. Die has big influence on the surface quality. It could be tailor-made for particular size of your final product. The regular downstream includes calibrator, haul off, edge hogger, main cutoff, edge trimming, stagger and packaging. There are also some peripheral devices like a printer, surface planner, embossing machine, etc. Regarding the portfolio of brewing agent, I'm going to introduce in another episode. Thank you for your time. If you are interested in more details about XPS product line, please contact us today.